Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special video. We are launching our new Nicole Beauty mascara. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, this is a very special video because I'm launching my new mascara. This is why I have told you to be on my newsletter because I announced this way before I put it on any social media. And so I want you to feel included. If you're interested, if you don't want to go to the website and see it sold out or find that the color you want, it's not there, what have you, we are working on the website also. I have a new website coming out next month. I have listened, I have heard, I've been just as frustrated as you, so don't worry new things are coming. So this is a real reason to be on the newsletter. So you are in the know, you know what's happening, you know what's coming up and also text messaging. This is really simple, easy. If you sign up for text messaging, you get 10% off. It's a really nice perk. And then you're always in the know. And again, we don't send out a million zillion newsletters and we don't send out a million zillion text messages. So you don't have to feel like you're inundated with all of this extra. That's not the style <laughs> of Nicole Beauty. So this is a really exciting product because I feel like this is a product you use every day. Mascara is so important. You see it on my Fierce Aging series that I work on women that are over 40, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and we had our beautiful Henrietta. She was 101. So I am literally touching your skin, working on your lashes. I know exactly what's going on, what our needs are, what our trouble areas are, what have you. Lashes are a big deal as we're aging. They're getting thinner, they're straight, they're falling out, they're sparse. I mean, I give my mom as an example all the time because I really zone in on her lashes because she has these beautiful blue eyes, but her lashes, you just really can't see unless you really spend time curling them and then putting the mascara on. It has to be a specific wand. I mean, it's very important. So I have come out with my volume up mascara. I designed it to be an hourglass tube. So it's very, very soft and feminine, just like the line that I just see that this is our, this is us. Like we're just soft and feminine. We're evolving. So mascara's evolved. It's upgraded formula. It's made in Italy. The color is jet black and it clicks closed. So you know, it's always closed. And I put my little N on the metal, this little silver part here, and I kept it very clean. I didn't want anything on it because I didn't want it to be chaotic and like stressful when you look at it. I know that sounds weird, but like when I look in my makeup bag, sometimes with all the zip codes and writing, and I just, just like, I don't, I don't want that. I want it to be clean and simple and just very like minimalistic. So that's the vibe. So now with the wand, you know that you all love my wand that was flat with the teeth. Well, I've upgraded for you because I want you to be able to do more with the wand. So now it's those teeth, tiny, tiny teeth, but it, now it's all round. So instead of being flat where you can only go straight and go up, I wanted you to be able to grab onto the lashes and then roll it up. I wanted you to be able to go vertically and go across the lashes like this, but you could move the wand and it didn't have to be flat. I wanted you to take the tip of it because it's flat and doesn't hold all this product, right? So you have this little flat tip and you could go down on your bottom lashes here instead of using like in that hack that I showed you with the tweezers. I know that was quite scary. You could do that with this wand. So that's why it's like the knickknack hack because I've rolled them all into one. So when your when your husband comes in and he's like, Barbara, what are you doing? What what is that your the technique you're doing? You're like well, Bob, that's the knickknack hack. And he'll be like, okay, now you now you cannot watch her any longer <laughs> because now you're saying really weird things. But the knickknack hack is kind of like rhymey, right? It's, it's catchy. It's going to stay with you. So when you bring out your volume up, which can give you this very false lash look very easily, not a lot of effort. This is what my whole motivation was for you. You can really know that you can do all these different techniques and hacks that I've shown you throughout all these videos with one wand. Also, I think a lot of people don't understand that a formula and a wand have to be compatible. So I worked with my engineers on making sure that my wand, knowing that I wanted all these teeth and I wanted them to be round, was going to be compatible with my volume up mascara formulation. So this is what's so wonderful about it. So much thought and effort went into the formula, went into the wand, went into the performance. So testing and testing, and then my focus group of ladies testing it and then seeing it on different women and then seeing it on Zoom and seeing just how beautiful it really looked. So this is this has been such a really fun project because I know you're going to love it. Of course, with my box with the black on the back, jet black on the top with the end. And of course we have my vintage floral wallpaper inside that you're going to see that is just going to make you feel extra special. It's all the details, ladies. I want you to feel very special when you order. I want you to feel that 
you are a mature woman being included in the beauty industry designed for you, designed for older women, designed for short lashes, sparse lashes, and giving you what you really want to see in the mirror. You want to see that you look better. You want to see you feel more confident. That is really my, my intention. That's my wish for you. That's why I do what I do. So I'm going to show you how this looks on. So I'm going to just take my Shuamora eyelash curler and you can take our heated eyelash curl if you want to. I'm just going to pump a little bit like this, get my lashes up, and then we're going to go right in with the mascara. Lashes are up. Now we're going to go into the mascara. So I'm going to just take it out and then I'm going to show you a couple different techniques that you can do. You don't have to do them all, but basically you can wrap them all into one. You can do one, what have you. So my first tip is to this, this eyeshadow is so gorgeous. Let me just show it to you. This is gorgeous. Look how pretty it gives you that just enough sheen that you can see. I'm just really, this is just really pretty when I, when I was looking at it. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is always go to the base. So this is what's so nice. I can literally roll in so I can go to like half, like in the middle of my lashes, but now I can roll into the base and I'm now going to the base of my lashes, literally gripping. I can feel the wand gripping my lashes. So I go into my lashes at the base, almost touching my lash line, wiggle back and forth. And then I can either roll up or I can just go up. I don't have to roll it if I don't want to. This depositing, which is nice, you can keep rolling because you're going to deposit all of the formula on this wand to the base. So it's almost like you're giving yourself that liner, right? You're going to give yourself a little liner at the base because you're depositing. It's called front loading. We're going to deposit the, the mascara right at the base like this. You can see I'm wiggling back and forth and then I'm pulling up. So look how much I get that deep color from just doing that base. So I'm gonna go right into the middle here, closer to my nose, do the same thing, getting all those lashes. I can go to the tips. I'm gonna start spreading out my lashes, fanning them out like this. Then the other hack that I showed you, I mean, how gorgeous. Now remember, I didn't even use that lash primer that I was using before. That was what I wanted you to just kind of have to skip a step if you didn't want to do that. So now we have a beautiful fanned out lashes. You can see it grabbed all those lashes. Now it sprayed them all out. Now what I'm gonna do is I can take the wand. Remember, I haven't dipped back in yet. So I'm taking the wand and I can figure out, do I want to really like emphasize right here in the front so I can open up the eye? That's one of my tricks that I've showed you before too. You're taking the wand and you go straight up. So I really do want it to deposit as much of the product that's left right here. Like it's almost like that starburst right? You're giving that starburst on these little lashes here, giving a little bit more if you want to do it like that. So I'm giving that height just right there. So it's kind of like when you look at me, you get that, that height, or you can take it and you can go out on the ends here if you wanted to have more of a winged out look. Now what the best part of this is, is that I still haven't dipped back in. At the very end, remember the, the hack that I did that went viral that Selena Gomez did and she had the tweezers where you would put them on the wand and then you would kind of clamp down on your eyelashes. I know it was like a little scary. A lot of people were like, what, <laughs> what are you doing? That would basically pull out my lashes. Take the wand now and all you do have to do is just pull down like this because these little teeth you're going to see, you can, I don't want a ton of, of product. So I'm going to just use what's left. I can also take it and I can drag it across like this if you like to have bottom lashes. But what's so nice is that it's not getting all over. I have tried so many times to do this with wands and it's like, forget it. I mean, the mascara is like all over the place and what have you. But this is nice because the teeth are so tiny at the top that you can just pull down and you can get that really beautiful look. A nice little tip though is just stay right here, just in the middle. Don't go the whole way. That's a really nice way to open up the eye also because you're only doing it at the bottom there. So I'm gonna do the other eye. So I just dipped in. See how I can roll it down and literally, I feel like if I like let the wand go, it would stay in my lashes, which is not which is not true, but it feels like that. Do you know that feeling like where you can put it here and it just like stays and then you're going to pull up. This eye has a little bit shorter lashes because I sleep on this eye, so that's, always been a challenge, but we're going to just go to the base and pull up. Now, also, if you get mascara on your lid, you can literally take like a spoolie just like this that's dry and then just 
go like this once it's on your lid and it'll come right off. So you don't have to go in with eye makeup remover or what have you. So again, base of the lash pulling up, it's just really nice. You can layer if you want to, depending on what you're wanting to do, but this is really such a beautiful wand that I think that you are going to be really thrilled with the kind of the performance of this, of this mascara. So the mascara is on, feeling amazing, looking fabulous, looking beautiful. And then you know what I wanted to do? I just wanted to go in with Laguna, the original. I have a Laguna 3 bronzer and I have Laguna 2. And I'm just gonna bronze up a little bit on my cheek. And I just think that this bronze eye with the dark, dark mascara just looks so pretty. I can't wait to hear your feedback. So I would love to know, do you love mascara? Have you had a hard time finding mascara? Do you like silicone ones? Do you like to have more of a fiber ones? It'd be really interesting to hear. I'm gonna do a little Palm Beach right now. Cream blush going into my cheeks, just giving it, just working it in with the Laguna. And if I feel like it's too much or something went awry, I'll just take my powder brush and I'll just kind of like mute it out a little bit. You can always take it down, ladies. So don't be afraid if it feels like, oh no, what's happening? I have my La Mer foundation on, so I didn't moisturize underneath, so it could be just a tad dry, but it's really pretty. But this is, like you're going to really enjoy having something that works for you and not against you. So it's just upgrading what we've had, really paying attention to our mature lashes. You know, as we're aging, we have to evolve. We have to upgrade. We have to change. We cannot stay the same always. We always have to be bettering the products and just the performance and everything that grows with us as we're aging. And that's really key, I feel. So I hope that you enjoy the mascara. I hope you enjoy this beautiful launch. I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to hear your feedback. And ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.